What's about the final exam? Oh, it's already made out, Rudy. But my substitute is going to have to proctor it for you next week. No substitute for you, Dr. Williams. You're the real thing. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Robin. I am sorry I have to leave for Nigeria ahead of schedule, but I won't forget this little surprise party you had for me. Hey, Ray, come on! Come on, it's time for the unveiling! Unveiling? Unveiling a... Wait, you'll see. <laughs> Dr. Williams, the class got together and we decided... Well, here's something to remember us by. Well, what can I say? You know, with a little luck, I'll soon be visiting a cave in Nock where the Eshu cult used to practice their rites hundreds of years ago. Ben and I, for the last two days, have been researching the Yoruba religion in Nigeria. And uh, we, we've learned a lot. You know, I've been researching the Yoruba religion in Nigeria for several years now. And I'm just now beginning to realize how little I know about it. Oh, well, come on now. I mean, honestly. How can a man with your intellect, your background, you know, um, a worldwide traveler, an archaeologist, um, a humanitarian with a doctorate in theology, with a, with a Ph.D.? Ben, it's getting a little thick and a little heavy. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to think that you spent most of your time researching me. Come on, open up the present. You may not know this, Dr. Williams, but you got a journalist in your class. Hey, I just touched me, a real live journalist. Is it contagious? I'm doing my theses on it. On what? On the cult of S-U, E-S-H-U, dummy. Aha. Uh -huh. So that explains why there were so many questions after the lecture on S-U last week. Well, my thesis has got to sound credible. What credence can you give to these myths? Well, a little more than you do, Ben. Oh, well, you know, it says here that the followers of S-U in Africa today, actually rejoice in evil and violent acts. Yes, they even go out of their way to claim credit for natural disasters, like the epidemics that our mission is going to help the Nigerian people with. Come on, Doc, open the present. Rhodey, do you realize that Eshu is the most powerful of all earthly deities? That's uh, Orishas, right? Right. Orishas is the name that they give to their lesser gods. Well, Loren, the father of the gods, is the one who gave them the power in the beginning. Right, and that's when Eshu became the god of sexuality, and uh, practically became a phallic symbol running rampant through the bush. <laughs> Eshu, the trickster, the creator of whirlwinds, chaos. You know, the cult of Eshu is newly operative in the world today. Well, you know, I think it will make a good thesis, and I know you believe all this, Dr. Williams, but uh, I can't. Come on, open the present. You know, Ben, you remind me of my son, Emmett. He's something of a skeptic, like yourself. I didn't know you had a son. Yes, he's a minister, too, but his parish is in Louisville. Oh. We had it made special. Mm -hmm. well, right. <laughs> well, how can I thank you? You can make me believe it. <laughs> <laughs>
Now what's he talking? What is it? Well, it feels like a block of wood. A block of ebony, Doctor. Look at the car. Characteristics, the hair in the shape of a coxcomb, the erect penis. <laughs> this could be no other deity. This is a shoe. A shoe. What a magnificent find. More hollow than solid. I think you may be right, Doctor. Uh, a ceremonial vessel. Just find out how to open it. Would you hold that light a little closer, please? Whirlwind? No. Picture? Mm. Uh... Yes. Yes, of It's simply beautiful. How do you like it, Mama Potter? It, it's elegant. Well, we're almost unloaded. Oh, Junior and Fred's still inside working, though. Uh, Abby, can I help you there? Oh, no, thank you, Russell. We can handle this light load. <laughs> Honey, you must remember who to thank for all your blessings. Listen, Mama, I've been praying ever since that lawyer read Mrs. Carruthers' will. A house for the church already paid for. Oh. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is lovely, isn't it? Oh, Mom, it's so wonderful to move into a new house. It's gonna be nice, isn't it? Yes, it is, babe. Now get back there and go to work. Check this part out. You're off there for a while. Hey, cut it out, Cass. Hey, do you need a hand, old buddy? No, this is man's work. Why don't you go in the house and help your sister? Work? We just came by for the tour. Oh, in that case, pay me 50 cents. The church can use it. Come on, will you get off talking to the law like that? I ought to run you in for insufficient respect for your poor relations. Yeah, come on, Russell. Hey, for making your deacon slave for you. <laughs> oh, well, he knows. He, he's welcome. It could sure span some air and out, don't you think so? Oh, oh it's kind of stale in here. Isn't it? it sure is. <laughs> Junior, I thought you were going to open those windows in there. I'm going to get it. Just give me time. Give me time. He always wants time. Give me time. Give me time. <laughs> you know? Yep, that's him. <laughs> oh, but Mama, you know what? Now I can make a real home for Emmett. You know, the kind that he's going to be proud of. I know what you mean, baby. But it ain't the size of the house that matters. It's the love that makes any place a home. Well, I got plenty of that, Mama. I know you have, babe. I know you have. Have you ever heard such a, such a heavenly sound? Oh, just your voice in the choir, Angel. Oh, and yours too, Mama Potter. Now, Amy, you know I've been just keeping that seat warm until you can find a real singer. But I want to thank you for the compliment. <laughs> oh, Russell, it's so good of you to help. Oh, it's just kind of a housewarming gift. <laughs> well, all those hours you put in for us is more than we could have expected. Oh, shoot. How you two done for our congregation? And the community. We sure appreciate it, son. Russell, are you just going to stand there with that bag all afternoon, or are you going to oh. go around there and put it in the oh. trash can? <laughs> hey, Mama. You know that Abby got her certificate for marriage counseling? Oh, really? 
on top of the youth program and working with the junior choir? Oh, Mama, stop it. Now, you're going to make me too proud. And pride is one of the deadliest sins, remember? Oh, there's a difference between pride and false pride. Ain't that right, Mama? Ain't no standing in being proud of doing a good job, living a good life, and loving a good man. Right on. <laughs> Wherever would I be without you? Still trying to work your way to the seminary. <laughs> I didn't slam the door. Didn't you feel the cold wind? Sure, honey, shaking wind. Is that why you woke me up? Well, I want you to know that's a pretty silly excuse just because you want to have some fun. Come here. And it's so cold tonight. You better start wearing sleeves. Well, you know how to make me warm. Best lover a girl could ever have.
Hey, have you told your father yet about the new house? We tried, but we couldn't get through to Nigeria. Nigeria? That where he's off to now? Mm-hmm. His mission's involved with the epidemic, but his last letter mentioned some side trip to an archaeological site in the hills. It must be a lonely life. Ain't nobody forcing him. Now, what are you coming down on your father like that for? He's doing God's will, just like you. Sometimes I wonder whose will he's really doing. Hey, sounds like Emmett's a bit jealous, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm not jealous. He's got his work to do, and I've got mine. Besides, I'm better off than he is. I've got someone to share the load. Yeah, you two sure work harder than any couple I know. And Abby, you take on a seven-day schedule. That's what I'm here for, Cass. There's nothing greater on God's green earth than a man and his woman working together. I'll drink to that, Mama. <laughs> Say, Emmett, is water the best you can do on a special occasion like this? I mean, couldn't you at least turn it into wine? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Lord, you see a satisfied man. A toast. To my loving family. And I come home. Honey, listen to Sister Green. It sounds like she's really ready for the social tonight. Either that happened where she's been socializing already. You know you can always tell Sister Green's laugh. There is nobody that I know of that laughs like Sister Green. <laughs> she's just brimming over with love. With love, Mama, or what? <laughs> Now, y'all just keep this chicken rolling in. I can see you getting lazy on me. Now, come on now, come on. Oh, well, you know, I never could understand why God made these poor little chickens next so long. Abby, keep your mind on your work, baby. Well, honey, you hurt yourself.
Please keep me posted. Goodbye. Black and comely as the curtains of Solomon, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. Let me kiss thee with the kisses of my mouth, for thy love is better than wine. What makes you call it love? Happy. I want to know why you call sex love. Just an animal lust, isn't it? I'm not your hoe. Come on, Abby. Shit, you ain't got enough to satisfy me. You fool. What the fuck? Shut up, bitch! <laughs> I swear, you never know what you're going to find on your doorstep. Want a cup of coffee? Cass, when Abby was a kid, did she ever do crazy things, you know, act a fool? She's always been a bit of a screwball. Huh? Didn't you know that before you got stuck with her, huh? Maybe you can tell me something about drugs. Can they change your personality? Then what are you driving at? I don't know how to... Did Abby ever take drugs? Hey, hey, wait a minute. That's my sister you're talking about. Are you serious? Abby would be the last person in the world to mess with drugs. She's always been against it. Then it must be something else. Mother told me you just passed your qualifying exams last month. Yeah, well, I'm not exactly an old married lady either. I'm still learning, just like you two. But I'll tell you, there's an awful lot of true advice in this prayer book. Let's just take a look. Help us to put away all pretense and to face each other in deep trust without fear or self-pity. Let us be done with fault-finding. There, Pastor. Hello, Sue. This must be George Preston, huh? Pastor. I didn't know you were coming down. Why, Emmett? I have a few special tips for Sue. And I didn't want to pass up this golden opportunity. What do you mean, Abby? Tips? Like the facts of life, stupid. All men are not created equal. Better make sure what he's got first. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take old Long George upstairs and I'll fuck the shit out of him. Abby, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my Come on, have a fun day. <laughs> doing this to me. I'm gonna show you what a real marriage ceremony oh. You are gonna love and obey me. <laughs> Fuck the honor. <laughs> <laughs>
Williams? Mrs. Williams, can I come in? Miss Williams? I rang the bell, but I guess you didn't hear it. Your mother thought you might like some company. Miss Williams, don't you know me? Miss Wiggins, the organist. No, you're not. Pardon? Wiggins isn't your name, you damn liar. And why do you bother calling yourself Mrs.? Please, you stop this. My husband is dead. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Sadie. Horace Wiggins never married you, screwed you once, and left you to rot like a rotten apple. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> so that your visit is not a waste of time. Now let's play some games in rhyme. <laughs> now it's time for the fun and games to start. Stop. <laughs> you must stop this, please. <laughs> Come on and play, Sadie. <laughs> Here we go round the merry-go-round, the merry-go-round, the merry-go-round. Here we go round the merry-go-round. Oh. 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 Merry
saying there's nothing wrong with her? No. What I am saying, Reverend Williams, is that our standard medical proceedings have revealed no physical defects, no neurological abnormalities to account for the pattern of behavior the state has been going on for the last couple of weeks. My daughter is deathly ill and he can't find nothing wrong with her? Where do we go from here? My suggestion would be to see Dr. Petty, our staff psychiatrist. Child doesn't need a psychiatrist. She ain't mentally ill. Now maybe I don't understand all them big words you're using, but I know my baby. Ever since her father died, I raised her all by myself. And she's a good, Christian girl. And she isn't mentally ill. <laughs> and she is crazy. All right, Mama. <laughs> Nobody's saying she is. But won't you leave her here over the weekend for a rest? Oh. And Dr. Petty will see her on Monday. Oh, God. Let's go, Mom. Oh, Lord, help me, please. Please. Oh. Still off. Third floor visiting room, please. Hi there, baby. How are you feeling? Oh, just fine. Thank you, babe. We were just getting acquainted, Reverend. Yes, yeah, she's been an angel to me, dear. Now, don't spread that word around. You'll ruin my authority image. Oh, don't worry. I'll keep your secret. Thank you for taking such good care of her. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a pleasant weekend, and you rest. Thank you. Bye-bye. Dr. Haley, Dr. Marlon Haley, Dr. Haley. She's very nice, isn't she? I want to thank you for calling that motherfucking father of yours. And when he arrives, give him my worst regards and tell him I'll be weak before him. <laughs>
there been any improvement? It's... It's been like a week in hell. Abby has completely changed. You won't know her. Well, I'm anxious to hear about everything. I'll tell you about it on the way to the hospital. I'd like to stop at the house first. Fine, Father. Psychiatric test. The furnace must be off. Father, can I fix you something to eat? No, Emmett. That's my job. You poor thing, you must have been starving to death since I've been away. Abby, what are you doing here? <laughs> now, that's a silly thing to say. This is my home, isn't it? Where else should I be? In the hospital. I just told them that I wanted to come home to my sweet husband right away. And they weren't doing anything to help me, were they? And I know you wanted me here to greet your father. It's been a long time, Reverend. Hello, Abby. Let's move into the parlor. We'll be more comfortable there. Father? You mean they let you just walk out without paying the bill? All I can say is, no one stopped me. Are you comfortable? So nice being home with the most wonderful husband in the world. Of course, um, his father is a very handsome man, too. Such powerful arms. Strong muscles. Abby? I bet your muscles are strong. No matter what. <laughs> now the fun starts. Emmett, hey, grab her! Hold her! You ah. son of a bitch! Oh. Who do you think you're looking at? Dr. Williams? I am addressing directly the force that holds this woman's spirit captive. Hear me, demon! Leave this woman body! Leave her body and go! I'm not going any place. <laughs> Cause I'm not through with Abby yet. You have no powers over what I do. All the powers of your so-called heaven can't control me. I've had enough! Father! Just stay there! I'll let you know when I'm ready for you. And then I'm going to get your ass. <laughs>
an emergency. No! What are you doing? No, no! What are you doing? Don't do that! Williams, I don't know you were in town. Yes, I'm certainly glad to see you. Hey, wait just a minute. Huh? Uh, listen, fellas, uh, it's kind of a family problem. You kind of sort things out, so you guys have to be okay. Hey, listen, this really beats the hell out of me, man. I just got a call out of headquarters that Abby tore up the medical center and split. Now I get here, they tell me Emmett is liable for three to ten on Grand Theft Auto. Are they all gone crazy? What the hell's going on here? Yes, I think you better be sitting down for this. Come on, let's go in the parlor. It appears that all the lights have been blown out. Yes, what do you know about your sister's illness? She cut herself. Oh, I'm afraid there's more to it than that. That was just one of the symptoms of her illness. Are you trying to say that Abby is flipped out? Well, not exactly, but... Uh, you see, there are hostile forces all around this house. And they have to be eliminated tonight or she'll die. <laughs> Tell me where you are. Yoruba legend reveals that the god Eshu pushed aside his fellow Orishas to capture the power of sexuality with which he destroys his enemies. What the hell are you talking about? What does all this have to do with Abby and all this mess? Yes, quite unintentionally, I released the spirit of Eshu while I was in Africa. And as a part of his campaign to destroy me, he now has control over your sister. Now, we've got to fight to free the spirit of Abby tonight. And to be successful, we have to do it together. If her physical and mental bodies have not been too damaged, I think that she can emerge from this possession relatively unharmed. It's just a matter of how fast we can find her. <laughs> Hello? 
Hello. Father? Emmett, is that you? Cass, are you there too? You're damn right. And hey, what the hell do you mean stealing a car, man? I'm the only thing keeping your ass out of jail right now. I know, I know. I shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. But what I called to tell my father was I just heard from Abby. Heard from her? Now, where the hell are you anyway? I'm in a phone booth at 3rd and Chestnut. But I'll explain later. Listen, she only said a few words, and she didn't tell me where she is, but there was a sound of dance music. Maybe a bar or... A bar? What would she be doing in a bar? Abby doesn't drink. Damn it, Cass! Abby doesn't do any of the things she's been doing, but... Didn't my father explain here that this isn't really Abby? Yeah, I know. I, I know what he said. I still don't get it. Look, you wait right there. Look, I gotta find Abby. Stay where you are. I'll pick you up in five minutes and we'll find her together. I'll notify headquarters where we're gonna leave the stolen car. Hear that? Yes. Want to come along? No, I'd better be alone to prepare. If you do find her, phone me, but be cautious. Let me take along that photograph of Abby. Doctor. Mm -hmm. This is really something we ought to be messing with. All of us who are concerned must be involved. Remember, Christ taught his disciples to cast out devils. And all who believe in him are his disciples. Our faith and our unity of purpose are our main armor. Like I said, I'm with you, Doctor. That's faith too, isn't it? Mm. 
comfortable? Oh, not as comfortable as I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do want to go home, don't you? Now, I never said that, Russell. That was uh, your little silly idea. <laughs> well, what's your idea? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Jeez. You have to be so damn religious about everything. Well, a long way home is pretty fucking short. Just give me a minute to catch my breath. I need to stop thinking about your husband. <laughs> that creep. Forget him. He's not my husband. Why did you do that? Because I damn well felt like it. Jesus. Don't you turn your head. <laughs> no one can help you now. sinister forces newly operative here. Guide me and grant me the insight to find the key to release Abby from the trickster. something about this demon in Abbey is something he accidentally released and uh, now it's out to destroy him. What? Come on, we got a lot of bars to hit. Come on, man. Thank you. 
Hey, hey, what's happening, man? You, uh, seen this chick around? Yeah, she was here. She said she'd be back. Well, Dan says she was here just coming back, so we better wait.
one chicken shit cop. No way, Big Mama. You and me. Hey, hey, we're just trying to help you, Abby. Come on. Ooh, come on, baby. Hey, let's go. You my kind of woman. Abby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you. I've got Abby. Abby. You just stay there. I might take you along, too. After I get your fucking father. All right, get on here, everybody. Come on, floor show's over. Come on, move it. You too, Dan. Come on, move it. You shut up. I don't want you. What do you think of my powers now? <laughs> Not very much. mother's opinion of your wonderful father, Hammett. Protect us in the power of your love. Where did you pick up that rigmarole? Purify. Sounds impressive. Oh, Lord, so that we may be worthy to carry your holy light into the struggle against the forces of darkness. Darkness? Bullshit! <laughs> Wait till I get your ass in hell! No, that is enough. We must free Happy and deliver her to God. Yes, come to me. It is the only way to break your chains. The only way no to know. No other voice freedom. but mine. Believe me. Only me. my voice. I will free you. Free will. Isn't that what everybody wants? The demon will try to tempt you. Confuse you. Loyalty. But we must proceed now. Oh, crap. Or we'll Violence. lose Abby's That's soul for an eternity. Violence. Damn you. Grab hold of her wrists. Stretch her arms to the side. Abby, we are here to help you as you requested. Still demon. Chaos. You understood that, didn't you? You know what it's all about. Jealousy! They're all jealous of my magnificent powers! 
<laughs> Grab her again. Hold her. Hold her in the name of the Lord God, Jehovah. Now spread her arms in the form of the Holy Cross, symbol of balance and harmony with God. I lay her on the floor. Thank you. You saved me from that awful demon. Emmett. Bless you forever, honey. Don't listen to her. You can let go. It's not Abby. He's using her, son. I'm all right. You can let go now. You must remain secure Please. in your own I'm Christ right. center. Don't allow yourself to be swayed. I'm coming. Hear only my voice. I anoint you in the name of God Almighty. Trying to steal Spirit. my powers! Why would I need your power? You're nothing but a minor spirit masquerading as one of the mighty Orishas. What are you trying to pull? Well, it's obvious you're not the real issue with the power to vanquish your enemies. Well, you'd be where I am now, and I'd be powerless like you. Don't play games with me, you simple-minded shit! I always win. You know that. Not against the true power. Not against the real issue. What kind of fool do you take me for? I know who I am. What a vulgar display. Ah. Ah. Then again, you probably don't have control of your faculties. Because if you did, you could speak in well-modulated tones, like a shoe, a linguist. Dimisu, mixeknas, dinia me diki muglosti kanota. Το δόλο της γλώσσης είναι πάνω το μετάλλιον από την αρχή τη Μεγάλη. Αυτό είναι το Θεό μου. Αυτό το να λες. Oh, that's pathetic. <laughs> But then the weakest always make a show of knowing everything. Really, really pathetic. You didn't understand my Greek. Or that Hindi either. You probably don't even speak the Yoruba tongue. Didn't understand a word I said before. Oh, I understood quite easily your blasphemy. You're faking. Kini Agbara Esuje Itanje Lastani. It must be growing painfully clear that your insidious fakery has gotten you into very serious trouble. Why on earth did you choose a shoe to mimic? You insult my intelligence. I am a shoe! Stay. The light of God binds you. Stay. Father. Father. Hold her firmly. inside a powerless body. I'm not trapped. Oh, no? I could go right now. You can leave now if you wanted to. I'll go. I'm tired of this stupid bitch anyway. I'll go. Only if I say you can go. Yes, you will go now, damn it. Only when a Lauren says you can go. And he is not ready. Oh, oh God, oh, Lauren. Most infinite God, we 
join now in prayer for the deliverance of the soul of our Abbey from all sin. Yeah. Return her bodies yeah. to the lower plane. You don't think your sister Physical, sister's sin mental, and emotional. To perfect I've harmony. always loved and honored you, haven't I? Protect Abbey's soul and seal it in the center of your light. And don't you? Look at me. You don't think Abby's ugly, do you? Look at me, please. You ugly motherfuckers! I'll see you all in hell! You're the ugly ones! Cass, take my hand. Hold it firmly. Emmett. Now we three are sealed in the Christ light. Hear me, Faker. I command you to vacate this body now. It's tearing her apart inside. Go. Don't you care, Emmett? Go with the love of God. If you really love her, I'll trade with you right now while she's still alive. Get your father to take me in. Hurry. Abby. It is too late for that, demon. You should have used these centuries to improve upon your spiritual bodies. Now take this chance. Take this chance and go. Go with the love and power of God. Release my hands. You're safe. Okay. 
non smoking United Airlines. Have a pleasant flight. Thank you. How long does it take to say goodbye to Did you get the bag to check in, Dave? Yes, yes, let's go. The bottom of the thanks for everything. <laughs> you children have a good vacation. We will. <laughs> Mama, I love you. I love you too, baby.